In this discussion, you will get information about supported Odoo framework methods. I had divided methods based on usage, so you will learn quickly. So let's start. You can see in this screen having commonly used methods. First method is create method. This method will create a new record set. Second method is write method. This method will update one or more than one record set. Copy method is used to create new record based on existing record set. Unlink method will use to delete record from database. Default underscore get method will get default value of specific given fields. Name underscore create method will create record set with one field. Like you can see in many to one field having a one option is having a one option quick create that method will use here in this case. After user can also update record set based on the condition. Then after the flush, this method will help you to flush pending record set update from database side. In this screen having a searching related methods. First method is browse method. This method will return record set based on given IDs. After search method will commonly used while fetching record sets based on the conditions. One more related to search method search underscore count method will help to get number of records based on the conditions and the return type is integer name underscore search method will return records based on matching display name after read method this is low level rpc method and if user want to return only specific fields and its value that time this method will use yes it won't be written record set it return list of dictionary values after the last method is read underscore group if you want to get group records that time read underscore group method will help in this screen you can see field related methods first one is fields underscore get this method will help to get information about specific fields and the second method is field underscore get underscore view this method will help to get architecture of views in dictionary format so user can override before fields and based on final change it will show it will showing in front end side in this screen you can see filter sorting related methods this method will help to filter records from record set another method is mapped method used to apply function in record set and return results based on operation then after the last method is sorted and this method will help you sort record set based on key In this screen, you can see record set related methods. The first method is exist method and this method will use to check record set is exist or not. The second method is ensure underscore one. This method will help to check record set having a single record or not. The third method is name underscore get method and this method will return textual value from record set last and fourth method is get underscore metadata method this method will help to get metadata about records i hope you got basic information about supported methods now in next session i will give you real example like how to use those methods in which cases 
if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session